What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off where we left off, I have a chance to suck in a load of Marathon forces into an assault on a fortress which I hold and I am absolutely, absolutely going to take this opportunity. Um, <coughs> they only have mortars coming as reinforcements on their final army, so their army should be more or less destroyed by the time they get into the action. So let's do this. <coughs> It's this time in order to beat the Marathas, because they just have sheer numbers. So I need to take these opportunities and have a coat. <coughs> um, I'm gonna, I need to take these opportunities to chew up their forces as often as they as I can um, in order to, to beat them. In order, in order to, then the they will, will still win. Sweet. And I've got lots and lots of infantry, exactly what I want. Um, well, this artillery might not be ideal, so they're going to spawn over there, and over there, way there, and there, yep. Ooh, and there's already a breach, already two breaches, oh, forgot about that. <coughs> Rightio, so take this. Oh, I might have to move him up a little bit. set this guy to be hmm, not directly well I want to put him there no I'll keep him mobile in case there's, a ne there's another breach put him similar position now here bearing in mind they could blow a hole in there and in other spots, so these guys are good to have in reserve. Okay, so let's put unit of foot guards inside here. Now let's garrison the walls. Maybe not fully, because they may attempt to... Because um, they may just run around them and try to get into the fortress, so I don't necessarily want to have all of my walls be fully garrisoned. Like I can normally like to have... Um, sorry, just a sec. I normally like to have three units, one each, one each to garrison these cannons and one in the middle. Um, I'm going to garrison them all with big units like this, because if they do decide to run straight for these breaches, they'll run all the way around, so I want to fire on them as much as possible, and then that still leaves me with a solid block of infantry to actually um, hold. So let's bring these ones in for now. So let's put... A guard musketeer unit. If I can play with the angles there. Then let's put a colonial line unit in here. A large line infantry unit in there. I don't want to maximise firepower, I need to maximise unit usage, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be particularly efficient with how I break them up. I think I might shun them backwards a little bit. Actually, I don't think I want anyone in there because they will fire into the back of these units. and you can go I don't really want to lose a unit up in there so go go back here as a reserve and let's do this and have these guys set to blast canister at their respective breaches. So the majority of their efforts over here. And they are focusing on this section of the wall. In which case then I probably want to... Hmm, so just a minute, I've got a bit of sickness about me. Ok, 
Okay, so I don't really... Hmm, so they're, bar they're hitting this wall. So also any means I kind of want to... Limber them up, limber them up. Juddery because they're trying to figure out best way in. To be honest, at this point, I'm probably going to want to put. Could probably deal with just going. Get you off, get you off. Just one more barrage and you are done. Don't run backwards. Look, see, half the unit runs good. At least you're all mostly off it. Whew. Pull back here out of the way, I suppose. Oh, my general's out there. Let's run him. Okay, so while they have hit the command HQ, I don't know if that's their main target. So they're aiming at something, but they're not hitting it because this is in the way. Because the gatehouse is indestructible. happy for them to keep doing that, but... So they are moving up. first walkers into my sights well the first troops to walk into my sights have finally reached I think they're trying to do something sneaky with my general but it's not going to work because the gates will close Good.
good. So these guys should get torn shreds as they try to run around my castle. stand more this way and away from that end of the cannons then. fire. Good. They're getting some shots into their rear. These are Russian musketeers after all, so they are a bit better in melee combat than your average men. Oh, some levy moving in to try to capture the... Uh, the f ooh, ooh, I might have to get someone in to support them. Oh no, they're moving in to attack my regular troops. Still hitting this central wall. Come on, if you guys fire by rank, you should be able to kill some of those elephants. Well, not fire by rank, but just fire in general. There we go. general taken care of because he's for some reason right up to the walls pikes camels general's bodyguard some more levy holding back some musketeers these musketeers that have bugged trying to enter the fort I know they've hit combat but my guys are let's pull them back
There we go. I don't know what they're targeting. They're not hitting my HQ. They're deliberately hitting these. Unless they're aiming at like these troops or these troops and they're just not getting the elevation. I don't know. their plan. So they're moving over. Oh, wait, pause, 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 pause. I see them coming in from the side. No, it's just a unit of levy. Broken. Oh, these are these reinforcements? Probably. Waiting their turn. Boosted speed. Some cavalry moving in, way off in the distance. There they are. So the infantry is moving. But not moving up. So they're rebalancing, unless they're just. These guys are still firing their cannons. Must be reforming up for another assault. Not that the last one was really assault, it was more of a. It more of a raid. Artillery here actually. Okay. So they're poking some shots off, knocking down some cannons. Not necessarily as many as we would like. Peculiar, because normally the AI does just throw itself at you. There's some artillery coming in from this flank. There it is. 12 pound a foot. <clears throat> I suppose that's what it is. They want to get this artillery into a firing position before they can before they actually move up. Same if she's falling back, some's moving up. Hey, if they, if they only let <clears throat> if they only let me chew up um, fractional squads, then that's okay by me. So they're moving into that breach, then in from behind, these guys look like they're moving up into... Well, they're moving somewhere. <clears throat> so if I was an assaulting soldier, you'd see this blockhouse opening fire. Come around the corner and see all of that. Gone already. <clears throat> so 
if they keep clustering them all up, my little my little sprite cannon shot's gonna be more effective. <coughs> So they're falling back. Hmm. If I had howitzers with quick climb, by God, they'd be making a mess of all that. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here and bring you guys back when something interesting happens. So, see you in a minute. Right here guys, I think. The first action in enough time for a number of force like this. These cavalry may be trying to charge in. Yes, they are. <clears throat> There's no I tell you a few to get easy kills. 102nd native of Lancers, just to give you a clue just how many men they've got. Even a late square is good enough. Hmm. But by the looks of it, that could be the uh, the only example. So what I'm going to do is they're coming back, but uh, I'm going to cut it again, and only when they actually throw the army forward or bringing guys back in. If it's little dribs and drabs like this, then I don't think I will, because it'll be too many segments. Where do you guys? So, well, I'll let you guys watch this little, uh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back once, if something in, <clears throat> something more major than a single unit advance happens. Where do you guys? See you in a sec. <clears throat> well guys, it's pretty much the same. They've moved in the odd handful of units here and there to actually make the attack. Um, but weirdly, <clears throat> this probably ended up being the best or the safest decision the AI could have made. Um, because if they attacked, I would have slaughtered them. So, I guess I'll take the win. Obviously it's not as fulfilling of a battle as I would have liked, but... You know, you win some, you lose some, but it looks like the, uh, the turn count has gone against them, the auto resolve has gone against them, and they've lost a huge amount of troops. Which I'll take in lieu of a uh, satisfying battle, at least they paid for it. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Firstly, aid, I'm going to go down here. Port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an So I agreed to a global trade company. No, that's big. I've upgraded, com I've upgraded you to go a global trade company, but that's because you're my main port. Well, Get some Let's get one of you. Let's get some lancers. Let's get some artillery. How about just have more range? Accuracy ten. Accuracy 10. yeah, the more range, more accuracy, I'll take it. Then let's pick up some two units of Lion Guards. Istanbul will start will create my force to start to push back on the Ottomans and pay for this betrayal.
Infrastructure's good. Upgrades are good. You're still really happy. Unless this gives me money. Plus three happiness, meh. It's not a priority. Fishing fleet could give you could give you some money. May as well upgrade you. Five million people. Okay, so you over here. Structure. Let's do that. Let's do some happiness upgrades. Happiness and money, coincidentally. Okay, so let's get this army down here to the port. <clears throat> I was going to send him here to help protect this city, but that seems now surplus to requirements. You are going to go out there and auto resolve that battle, probably. Yep. And replenish. Probably outside. Yep. And you're going to recruit two units of something that won't take very long to get here, I think. It's weirdly, I think my best option is probably to push forward with him. Just move up and then maybe send. Ah, yes. Send you up here to take Kashmir. Just auto resolve that. I leave? I can leave! Lovely. And let's upgrade this farm. Bring him up here in support of this. To be honest, do I auto resolve this fight as well? To capture Punjab? I think I do. Because I think I might then off balance these stacks and force them to come and fight me. Probably take you back to Kabul, actually. To help protect you if these guys go for an assault. Anyway, this fleet, this army here, sorry. So now because that fleet, well this city down here is a bit more protected or a bit more stable now and these guys are coming in to support, I'm going to move these guys and I'm going to send them... Unfortunately to here, because I can't get all the way, but I'd like to try to get them to Ceylon. Ultimately, Naroon would be a nice safe harbour to get them into, but it's not safe. And it won't be safe. Not for a while. So the rake's coming. You have a seminary, and I'm slowly converting you, so this Protestant will go to Zaristan. Oh no, he's already been converted. Come down to Naroon then, because Afghanistan's being converted. Yep, slowly but surely. Then you will go along and convert. Firstly, um, Lahore, because I'm sure they'll hate me for it. Cool. And then I have another army up here. Good, you are also going down to Basra. This army here has no money to recruit. Just need to be careful of Moldavia. Even then, if they do attack Moldavia, it's not the worst thing in the world as long as I've got Kiev and Crimea secure. Then that's the important thing. It's another Moscow army under recruitment, which I cannot support. Good. The happiness boost will help me out. Going for Palu, which is good. Steam engine would be nice. Steam engine would be very nice because I've got lots of industrial buildings, but I'd probably want something bigger than you to research it. I'd probably want you to go for it. It's nine turns. I want to get you to do it. Nine turns because I'm not so bothered about light infantry just yet. The money boost from the industry would be greatly beneficial. Mm -hmm. See, that's you, you. To be honest, I think I'm going to resolve this, because right now I'm over this is overwhelming in my favour and it's not going to be much of a battle, because they're all weakened. Oh, I knocked off a lot of my troops. 
That was a big defeat. Fortunately, I'm in, a, I'm in a reasonable settlement, which means I can recruit actual infantry to help me. As long as I don't destroy the army council. I want to rebuild, ideally. I want to rebuild this as more of a, uh, a more western civilization. But yes, Naroon severely hamper their forces. They can keep raiding if they like. And um, they'll come up into some severe trouble. Ooh, I've captured a university. Destroy it. But I think I'm going to end turn. Actually, no, ultimately, I think it's the end of this part. Because I'm looking at my turn counter and it did not include this battle. Not my turn counter, my recording timer. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry about that battle, but at least we seem to be making progress in the northeast and opening up a wider front against uh, the Indians rather than just a couple of key bridges. Right here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.